English um, and that type of stuff as well. But I just love the Christmas story. I think it's important in understanding who God is and who Jesus is and salvation. And so that's kind of the plan for today. So I'm going to share my screen and I won't probably keep it shared the whole time. Let me bring it over here. But so that you guys can see the question, I know for some people it's helpful to be able to read as well as like hear it. All right. So kind of the open-ended question is, do you celebrate Christmas? You might not, and that's okay. Um, if you do, what are your traditions? How do you celebrate Christmas? You or your family or your church? Or um, how do you maybe, you could go general of, of do people in Myanmar celebrate Christmas? And if they do, what do they generally do? Whichever take you'd like to do. If you want to make it personal or if you'd like to just say in general, um, cause obviously, right. You guys know, I love learning about your culture. Um, and this is something we've not talked much about. And so I want to learn from you. Um, and then the second question, because I realize some of you guys may say, I don't celebrate Christmas. There are even Americans who don't celebrate Christmas, even though it's very cultural here. Um, and so maybe there's something else that's important to you. I want you to, to not feel like you have to talk about Christmas if, if that's not something that's important to your life. I know um, last year I had a student who, uh, in, my, in my class, my, a little kid, who, uh, who, doesn't, who didn't celebrate Christmas and her family didn't and they didn't want to be a part of the Christmas celebrations. Um, they wanted to, to celebrate their celebrations for the holidays. And so we tried to include it and I learned a lot about their faith and their beliefs. And Anyway, so I want to learn from you guys. I want you to have an opportunity to practice your English. So here's the question one more time, and then I'll go ahead and stop sharing my screen, knowing that that's the question whoever would like to share will be able to share. So do you celebrate Christmas? If so, what do you do or what do you in general do if you'd like to take that um, perspective? And if you don't, is there something else that's very important to you that you'd like to share about? So I'm going to stop sharing my screen so it's easier for us to see one another. And is there anyone who'd like to go first? You can raise your hand. You can unmute. <laughs> Thank you, Margaret. You're very brave. Go ahead. You can unmute. Yeah. Good morning, Chair, and Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my name is Margaret. I'm a Christian girl, and uh, I live in Myanmar. So Myanmar, Myanmar also celebrate Christmas. Christmas is also uh, very important to us. We, have, we celebrate Christmas every year, uh, and this year, in this year, we uh, we're going to celebrate uh, next next Sunday. So uh, we build Christmas tree uh, since last uh, since Monday. So it 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 is finished. It's really beautiful, and we made the the little statue of Christ, <laughs> baby Christ. <laughs> yeah, and. Um, we dance and sing carol song from the 24th December to the 1st January. We sing every night okay. and uh, all day. In the day, we play game, many games. We play with children and uh, some are the, how to say, uh, the old people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We give, uh, we chain Christmas gift. Yeah. And uh, it is really happy party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. That sounds very similar to what my family does in celebrating Christmas, being with uh, family, giving gifts, putting up a tree, singing carols. Um, one difference is my family doesn't sing Christmas carols every day until the new year. We kind of sing Christmas carols starting from the beginning of December, just kind of whenever we feel like it. 
and then we kind of stop after Christmas. So that's very interesting. Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate it. Who else would like to share? Yes, Angel. Hello, Chuck. Yeah. Um, because I'm, I'm not a Christian, but I'm, uh, Islam. Do you know? Mm -hmm. But I want to share about our religious festival. It. Have you heard about this before? Say it one more time. Have I heard about what? Uh, have you heard about? It, it festival. Mm -mm. No. Yeah, Sorry. tell me about. Ah, uh, this is the Islamic religious festival, and after uh, the end of fasting, man is a uh, holy man. For we, we need to, we have to do fasting from dawn to sunset, or the whole month. The whole month after the end of this month, uh, we celebrate our festival. It it name it it, and then uh, at the, at the day, we charity we do charity and also social gathering and uh, we share our festival festival food uh, festival meal with our neighboring, and also give gift and and also we also dressing up. Uh, yeah, that's art. Yeah, that's so cool. So, so is this connected to because you said it was after your month of fasting from sundown to sun up or from sun up to sundown? Um, yes. is that like connected to Ramadan? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so I had known about Ramadan because I have some friends who, who are Muslims and um, they would participate in Ramadan, but I had never known that they, that they broke their fast with a, with a festival like that. That's very fascinating. Yes, yes, yes. the first of all, at the end of the first month. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's so cool. Well, I always get to learn things from you guys. I appreciate that. I love learning. Uh, <laughs> wonderful. Is there anyone else you'd like to share? Cece, would you like to? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Uh, we don't, I'm not sorry, right? Uh, Chris Ma. Uh, but there is something important to me nowadays. Something. Uh, it is not. It is only small thing, you know. Oh, it's just small thing. Uh, it's uh, it's been a while. I, I walk early in the morning. Uh, our our maid, our town, um, my hometown has a clock tower, 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 clock mm -hmm. tower. Uh, so. When I get at like four hour, uh, I could uh, rise first and then I get out of my home and walk out in the morning. And when I see this tower light, lightning up, I'm happy. Oh, so today I early, I can see dark light or tower because uh, it's getting uh, uh, morning, morning, morning. Uh, this tower turns off the light. So I I saw the light. I was like, oh, today I only I was like happy every day. Yeah, uh -huh. that's so this, great. This is my happiness now. <coughs> I said, yeah, today I'm only. Uh huh. That's so good. Thank you for. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for sharing. See, see, that's one thing that I appreciate so much about you. It's just your joy and your happiness. You always bring such a smile to my face. So thank you. <clears throat> Is there anyone else who'd like to share? Oh, it looks like Raymond. Yes, dear. Hello, teacher. My name is Joe Tinchu Raymond, and I am a Buddhist boy. I'm not sitting with Christmas, but I, but I go Christian house. They say they were sitting bread. Celebrate 25th of December. Uh, they they invite me to visit their house. They we were they said we were playing games and eat and 
Happy to get that. I think that I think that's the best day of my of my life. That has Thank this you. did this happen last year or is it going to happen on the twenty fifth? But this year, this year. This the year? Of this year. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's super exciting. Uh what are you most excited for? Uh play games. Mm -hmm. Do you know what kind of games you're gonna play? I don't know about this. Okay. I love playing games. It's one of my favorite pastimes. That's yeah. great, Raven. I'm excited for you. Um, hopefully you have a fun, a fun time. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Was there anyone else? Yes, I want to share. Yes. Yes, in 2020, yeah, I used to go to the church with my with my friend that she is a Christian girl, and I, uh, me and uh, she, um, and I went to the church and like in uh December 25 25th, and uh we were like. They, they are celebrating like uh singing a, a Christmas song and uh like I um in this time in this time I was wondering that uh they are celebrating like this and it is very wonderful because we are like even though it mm, mm, even though I am a uh they don't know what I am what religion is but they are like welcoming and yeah they are very warm and yeah, just give me a gift. And I'm very uh remember that it was a um I think it's that napkin or like yeah, it's kind of that and it is um I feel like it's very heartwarming because in my in my town they uh, they are like yeah, it is um um uh, when it is uh near to uh christmas they are like uh singing a christmas song around the road uh and celebrate that uh pray for the god and they're singing like every house and even though they are very uh the weather is very cold yeah they are uh ride a motorcycle <laughs> and like uh, like a group and they're singing like every song. Mm -hmm. um, uh, every, yeah, in my town, uh, they are like most of the house are uh, like this, but they are like singing and uh, they are giving gifts and like uh, giving the, yeah, uh, giving the gifts, yes. Mm -hmm. And like in 2020, like I went to the church and yeah, I was know that, it was very beautiful and yeah, I want to go to the Christmas um, Christmas town like New York or maybe in some town that is, uh, yeah, in mm -hmm. once in my life because mm -hmm. it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like yeah. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Some people are so talented at decorating for Christmas and making things beautiful. Um, so what you're describing of them going from house to house and singing all together is called, we call it caroling. Um, and so when people go caroling, they sing Christmas carols, which are just Christmas songs. And they, they carol, uh, they sing for other people. And it's just to spread uh, Christmas cheer. So yeah, that's super cool. I am um, growing up. I am, um, well, and still sometimes, um, not every excuse me I'm sorry not every year but sometimes I'll go to a like a Christmas service like a church that you're talking about too and um yeah it's just so pretty to like sing and and celebrate Christmas together yeah thank you for sharing um is there anyone else who'd like to share yes um you've raised your hand it just says red me nine uh, yeah, uh, uh, 
yeah, uh, as far today, um, as far as I want to say that, I say that I don't speak English clearly uh, because uh, this day is I first, uh, I first attend this class. Um, so um, uh, um, uh, let me start introducing myself. My name is Ella, I'm 70 years old, yeah. Um, I think um, uh, uh, Christmas Day is another country uh, that is uh, constant crash. Uh, we got another country is uh, uh, another country that's uh, Christmas are we get the constant uh, uh, But uh, I think uh, Myanmar country is uh, is the Christmas or not considered um, uh, Myanmar country is the uh, another past table. Uh, and then I think. Uh, um, Myanmar are different uh, because uh, uh, because uh, Kachin State, Yangon, and Magoye, uh, they are not same. Uh, because I think uh, Kachin State is very cool eh? and uh, Yangon is there uh, near the sea. Uh, so I think it is not cool and eh? uh, Magoye is very hot. Uh, but I think uh, I think mm, uh, Christmas is very happy. And another people is very important this day. Uh, this day we got uh, last uh, uh, last four uh, four or five years. Uh, four or five years I uh, I attend or uh, I arrive another place, but uh, but um, but I again uh, this my house and my mother is there. Uh, my mother, my father, and my sister is there. Uh, festival is the Christmas. And um, so I think Christmas is very, uh, very beautiful, uh, very, uh, very nice day and everyone. Mm -hmm. So Christmas, yeah. Yeah, that's wonderful. Thank you for sharing about the different areas <coughs> in Myanmar. And, and I agree. One, one thing I like about Christmas is just, um, just, uh, it's joyful to be with people that you love and who love you. So thank yeah. you for sharing. Yes, I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yes next i don't know how to say your name darling how what how can you tell me yes. uh, my name is line line tone line line tone yes okay <laughs> thank you yes uh, <laughs> uh as personally for me uh i don't celebrate the christmas party uh uh because i am body uh care um, uh, but I have ever uh, visited the, the Christmas festival in 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 high school, uh, in high school. Um, uh, um, in this uh, in, in this festival, uh, they were they were they were they were singing Christmas songs and uh, they were they were decorating with flowers in the church. And at uh at night uh, uh they uh they were singing uh and in front of the every host um and and praying to be the better time in future and to get best thing in the future. Um uh as uh as a Buddhist kid, uh, uh we also ce uh, celebrate uh um at the formal date of uh the angel. Uh, 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 this festival also called the lighting festival. Uh, uh, we are light the candles uh, uh, at night, uh, and uh, in the full moon day, uh, we are going to the monastery, uh, monastery, and uh, we are uh, we, we are listening um, about uh, we are listening uh, the monk talk, and uh, the monk talk. And we are praying our parents and uh, the older, uh, the older people, and and they also pick back uh, money as uh, or pick back money, uh, to us uh, as a pocket money. Uh, uh yes, this is uh, our festival uh, as uh, as Buddhist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so interesting. I had never learned of that one. I don't think um, I've learned about several festivals. But that one sounds new. But if someone's taught, told me before, I just forgot. So thank you. I get to learn so many things today. I appreciate you sharing. Are there any others that would like to share? All right. 
Um, thank you to everyone who shared either about how they celebrate Christmas or another festival that is special to them, or maybe something they've experienced in the past. Um, part of why I celebrate Christmas is I'm American, and so it's a very, very common holiday in the United States. Whether you're a Christian or not, it's it's just a time of, of joy and, and love. Um, I also celebrate Christmas because you guys know I'm a Christian, right? So to me, it's a time to celebrate Jesus's birth, um, which is why we're going to read the Christmas story. But before we move into, we'll do a passage and we'll talk about vocabulary and then we'll read the Christmas story. There's one more person who'd like to share. I don't want to go on without you. Um, so go ahead. Um, you have your hand raised, hon. Hi. Hi, hello. How are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm good too. Good. Uh, this is your, uh, your first time in my class. Like, I do not see as last, uh, last weekend. Say it again. I do not see you in last weekend. Okay, I've been um, doing this class, oh, I don't know how many weeks now. Several weeks, couple months. I'm Alexandra. It's good to nice meet to you. Meet. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> yes, I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so glad to get to meet you. So do you celebrate Christmas or is there something else that you do? Um, I do not celebrate Christmas and my family either because we are both, we are both the same, you know, we are both mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. But I, my, uh, my friend celebrate Christmas. Mm -hmm. And most of my friends are Christian, so they celebrate Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, in Myanmar, in Myanmar, like we are, we are in uh, ethnic group, so we, we have so many Christian in our ethnic. Although we are Buddhist, we we did not celebrate, but my friends celebrate Christmas, mm -hmm. so they they uh, they call me to celebrate Christmas, and then I'm going to celebrate their Christmas. Mm -hmm. They are decorating uh, <coughs> the as a sweet December like this, and I don't know, but they celebrate Christmas as very very fun and. And fantastic. They are decorating a Christmas tree uh -huh. and singing song and they praying uh, the whole day. Like I see. And they're uh, having a barbecue uh, at this day. But I I did I did not you like I did not have a gift from then. Okay. That sounds like a fun celebration that they've roped you into. <laughs> that's that's great. <laughs> that's very fun. I, I want a Christmas gift. You want a Christmas gift? Yeah, I wanna. <laughs> but I did it. You can bring one and then maybe they'll give you one i don't know i don't know how your culture works in in the united states sometimes people will give gifts and then sometimes if it's like friends then you don't it just kind of depends uh -huh. thank you so much for sharing very nice to meet you um lin miatong nice to meet you hi uh, uh... How uh, I am not celebrate Christmas. We are Buddhist, and best we had a festival. That's religion, religion festival. You know, you know the Buddhist monk discussion. They are Buddhist laws and. Uh, and the flies be the get this get uh, some of the the greatest uh, best discussion as uh, 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 Lord 
close to their youngest uh, man we cause uh, uh, in, in the past I cannot test uh, the hand and thank God go in it go in it and in who best and the other others uh, the bright poetry and and uh, the um, uh, they compare somewhere and uh, uh, compare and dies as a challenge to discussion for poetry whose poetry is best who poetry is necessary and uh, whose poetry uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah yeah that sounds very interesting is this similar to <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. The light light festival. Was it similar to the other or is it the same or different to the, the festival? I can't remember who was explaining it, where they go to the monastery and they hear the monks discuss and they like light the candles. Is that the same or is it different? Is is the festival you're talking about the same or is it different? it's the same yeah 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 okay that's so interesting i'm trying to make like a connection in my brain you know <laughs> yeah okay thank you so much for sharing i appreciate that thank all you. right we will go ahead <laughs> and move on you guys i love learning from you about culture i love learning your own traditions um uh so i appreciate that each one of you who shared you guys are wonderful so I will go ahead and share my screen again. In the United States, this is a very common passage, very common story. And it is called, uh, it's actually like a poem, Twas the Night Before Christmas. Has anyone ever heard this poem before or read it before? Very popular, very common. If anyone talks about Christmas and you talk about the night before Christmas, most people have it just memorized just because you hear it. Uh, excuse me. So much as a child, you hear it just all around. So I got it from this website here. Um, but it was written in 1822 by Clement Moore. This is very popular. So we'll read through it. It's not too long. And then we'll go back to see if there's any vocabulary we can learn from it. And then we'll read the Christmas story at the end. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry... <laughs> as dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my hand and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with acid, ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his sack. How his, <laughs> his eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. 
His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying aside, I'm sorry, and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. <coughs> he sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him explain ere he drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. It's very popular. It brings back so many childhood memories. Anyways, um, let's go through um, and see if there's any vocabulary. I know that probably not um, all of it is difficult, but there might be a few vocabulary words we could talk about. Um, so we'll just read this first paragraph. I kept the paragraphs kind of short, especially since it's a poem. "'Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. So are there any questions about <laughs> words, meanings, phrases, sentences, etc.? You can just raise your hand. You can just unmute too. It's, it's no big deal. What are sugar plums? Are those like desserts, candy? Yes, great question. I literally was just, I don't know, there's like, I was looking at a joke about <laughs> how even though this is a very common popular poem in the United States and everybody knows it, nobody knows what a sugar plum is. <laughs> it's a type of food and it is a dessert. And really the only time I've ever heard sugar plum being used is in the context of Christmas and in particular this poem. It looks like it's like um, a type of like little dessert that's sort of like a candy, sort of like a bread. I've never had any. It's not like people eat these things all the time. It looks like you can find recipes for them. But there, I assume that originally it was like a plum that was sugared. Anyways. Uh -huh. So yeah, <clears throat> so there's some some a little bit of cultural background for you. People say sugar plums; they all know that word, but no one really knows what it means. <laughs> Are there any other questions? <laughs> yes. Uh, I would like to ask what is the meaning of that children were nestles all slang in their bags. Uh huh. When you tuck your kid in at the night, and they're all like nestled in and they're cozy and warm and in a little ball and they're tucked in their blankets so nestle just means that to like create a nest right to like nestle in and get cozy yeah and snug right same thing you're like cozy and stuff mm -hmm. um angel did you have a question okay any others all right, let's go to our next paragraph. And mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter snap. When out of the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sack. Any questions in this one? What's the kerchief? um yes a kerchief is like a handkerchief um that's what that apostrophe is saying is that the hand part is gone so a handkerchief <laughs> that's like worn in the hair like you could wear a nightcap to bed or you could wear like a handkerchief and tie it around your head yeah any others yes chair. it is uh just imagination or how <laughs> How his mama is in her kitchen and how he is in his cap. Oh, good question. Um, so the word in there does not mean that like 
you're physically in the thing. It means that mama's in her cur kerchief, meaning she has her kerchief tied around her head and her hair is all up in it. And that I, the man in the story, has his nightcap on to keep his head warm, right? And so same thing, right? I see that you have a hat on, right? So you could say, I'm in my beanie. Uh, it's not totally grammatically correct. You'd say I'm wearing it or I have it on. But since this is poetry, there's going to be a few things like that <laughs> that are missing a few things. Um, so it doesn't refer to them actually being in. It means they have it on. Yeah, good question. Any others? Okay, let's go to the next one. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering I should appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came. He whistled and shouted and called them my name. I'll pause there. Any questions to slay? Um, so this is, um, you can Google a picture. It's hard for me to describe, but basically it's a way to, um, of conveyance, like a vehicle to get over snow. Um, they still use them today in like fancy areas as like a sleigh ride. I don't know that they use it anymore as like just a vehicle because these days we have cars and snowmobiles and all sorts of other stuff, right? But back then when they had to use wagons and horses um, to travel, um, they would use a sleigh, which basically has runners instead of wheels. So it can slide over snow. And so it's like a horse drawn, but it has like those runners. And so that's over snow, it like slides. <coughs> and you like sit in it. Good question. Any others? Um, CC, I'm confused by your second one. Like jelly? Are you talking about down in this paragraph? Is it in this paragraph? Are there any other questions? We'll keep going. Um, okay, we'll skip that one because that one's just a bunch of names. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my hand and was turning around down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. <laughs> Any questions about this? Um, prancing and pawing meaning with little hoof, but can hoof even paw? Usually hoof don't paw. Yeah, good question. Yes, good question. These are good ones. Um, so yes, a hoof is not a paw, but this is a verb instead of a noun. So uh, if it was a noun, it'd be like, you know, a dog's paw, which is not a hoof, obviously. But to paw means to like um, attack something like this motion of trying to paw at something. Humans can paw at something. Anyone can paw at something. Um, and so that's what it's saying. If you imagine a horse or a reindeer or a whatever an animal with hooves and it like hits the ground in that motion that's pawing the ground mm -hmm. and then prancing is kind of like jumping around a bit like with some agility with some smoothness
Um, okay, sorry. Sure. Look a bomb up. is a kind of sex. Say it again. A bomb is a kind of big sack. Um, bound, no, good, good connection, but no, a bound uh -huh. is to like jump. It's a large leap. So he's in, in American culture, St. Nicholas, Santa Claus comes down chimneys, right? This imaginary, wonderful creature, uh, not a creature. He's like a little elf comes down the chimney, um, like with a big jump, a big bound or leap. Um, someone <laughs> else had a question about sleigh full of toys. So again, in this mythical story about Santa Claus um, or Saint Nicholas, he rides in a sleigh and his eight reindeer pull it and they fly through the sky because he's magical. And he brings toys to all the children. And so his sleigh is full of toys. It's his sleigh little... is Kyle Crocker. A sleigh is what? Kind of crap. Um, it's like a type of vehicle. Um, so instead of like, if you know any, like a wagon, like it's a, you have to look at a picture um, of it. But um, like back then, like horses had to pull wagons and with like wheels, you know, to be able to get anywhere. They didn't have cars. And so in the snow, wheels don't work in the snow in the same way. And so they needed something with like a flat edge. And so they have a sleigh is basically a, a wagon with runners so that it's flat and will just like, it's like an ice skate uh, essentially, but wider so that it will slide over the snow like a sled or something. <laughs> and so um, people can sit in it. Yeah, it's like a cart but it has like um, flat runners on the bottom instead of wheels. Yes, it's like a chair, but it has those flat runners. And you can, in certain parts of the United States, take a sleigh ride that's pulled by horses and is like a cart or a wagon or, you know, a chair and everyone's in there, but it has those flat runners. So it smoothly flat, glides over snow. <clears throat> All right. Are there any others on this one? Okay, he was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with acid, ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. Um, soot is when you light a fire, and that like black ash that gets everywhere, that's soot. So in a chimney, in a fireplace, outside, the black ash is soot. Yeah, mm -hmm. Yeah. What is the tradition? T-R-A-N-S-H-E-D. Tarnished. Trash. Yes, it's pronounced tarnished. Trash. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Tarnished. What kind of bar it is? What Sorry? kind of bar it is? What kind of B L U R it is? Oh, like what does it mean? Um, what kind of bird it is? It's a verb. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, uh, do you explain me the T R E N S A E D trash. Yes, tarnish. So his clothes were all tarnished. It's a verb um, in, in the past tense, <laughs> and it's passive. Um, what it's saying is that his clothes were ruined or covered with. They were not their shiny, normal fur, but they were tarnished with ashes. And so normally tarnished is used in the sense of silver that tarnishes. Silver, if it's exposed to the air and time and etc., oxidizes and it turns um, like this uh, rusty color. And so normally people use it with metals that tarnish, but in this case, it's saying it's comparing that same thing that happens of this, it's supposed to be shiny, wonderful silver, and now it's tarnished and it's this rusty, orangey color that his clothes are supposed to be all beautiful, but because he went down a chimney, they're covered with ashes and soot, right? And they're tarnished. They're no longer beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Yes, thank you for asking.
Any others? Yes, yeah, sure. yeah. So Saint Nicholas is a center, Santa yes. Claus. Yes. Oh, thank oh, you. Yeah. Yes. Um, ashes and soot. Um, if you build a fire, your ashes are the black, you know, gray leftovers that was burnt wood or whatever it was. And the soot is like that blackness too. So like I built a fire the other day in my fireplace and after it burned down, I used to have the ashes sitting in there. So I need to clean them out of just like that dusty, musty burntness. And then the soot got all over my hands because that like charcoalness blackness got on my hands and I had to wash it off. So that's the soot. A peddler is someone who we don't really <laughs> have peddlers anymore, but they used to be common back then um, where they travel around and they have a sack or a cart or something and they have all their goods and wares and they go from city to city or town to town and they sell their wares and they're a peddler or they peddle those wares. If you were in an open market, you could perhaps use the word peddler, but it's really an older word that describes someone who traveled from town to town to sell their goods. Dimples <coughs> are some people have them on their cheeks like this. That's a dimple or on their chin or that's their dimple. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Um, uh, the last sentence, his chest were like rules. I can't imagine it. Uh, uh, how, how, did, how is it? Yeah, good question. Um, it's a simile, it's comparing something. So it's saying roses are red or pink, right? And so his cheeks were like roses. They're red or they're pink. His nose like a cherry, it's bright red because it's trying to describe what Santa Claus looks like. Yeah, any others? Okay, we'll go ahead and pause there. Um, I will...